Police still have no one in custody for vandalizing nearly 40 homes, some with racial and anti-Semitic terms. In the meantime, the Jewish community is using the incident as a platform. The 19th Nicole Lewis checked out a discussion on this growing problem tonight. Mm -hmm. And the head of Milwaukee's Jewish Federation who spoke tonight in Madison, Michelle, she says the number of anti-Semitic incidents reported in the state doubled last year compared to the year before, most of that bullying and graffiti. Now only a fraction of the cases in the most recent rash of graffiti was anti-Semitic. Three out of 39 pieces of personal property tagged on Madison's west side. Again, police are still looking for whoever is responsible for that. Tonight's presentation just around the corner from much of that vandalism started with a mention of the dozens of homes and cars tagged earlier this month. We keep exposing it. We keep making the public talk about it. And I think we condemn all forms of hatred consistently, clearly, and regularly. We just can't tolerate that kind of behavior in our community. And so we want to stand in solidarity with them tonight and uh, bring the community together, particularly when issues like this occur. The head of the Dane County Boys and Girls Club reiterated that solidarity to the crowd at Memorial High School. Tonight's main speaker, Hannah Rose Rosenthal, says she doesn't know why we've seen a spike in hate in our state. Now, Rosenthal added most of the crimes committed here in the U.S. are done by, quote, stupid kids. Overseas, it's become more of an organized plan of violence, she mentioned. That said, she stressed tonight, Michelle, vandalism like we saw on Madison's west side has to be talked about in order to see change. Sure, absolutely, and hopefully someone will come forward. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Danica. Sure.